I know what you're thinking. Why is this girl giving me hair advice? Good question. So I just got my hair snipped and highlighted, ready to go for the new year. And after I get my hair highlighted, it always kind of leaves my hair lacking that je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. Je, je ne sais quoi. After I get my hair highlighted, it always looks a little flat and gives me the illusion of an egghead. We're gonna get my hair back in action, back and bouncy. We're gonna go from this to this. And I'm gonna show you how I like to style my hair at night because your girl is lazy. So I'm gonna show you how to style it at night, refresh it in the morning, and have it be ready to go. This one's for all my lazy babes out there. I got you. And biggest of thank yous to my family over at Not Your Mothers for sponsoring today's video. I will be using all of their Curl Talk line products. Y'all know how much I love these. They are sulfate to silicone, paraben free, curly girl method approved, and I'm obsessed. They are also affordable, might I add, and available at your local Target. All right, let's do this. Now something that I more diligently added into my hair routine about once or twice a month, depending on the amount of buildup, was the Curl Talk Scalp Care Cleansing Oil. This is fantastic for busting buildup, removing buildup, and I like to do this right before I shampoo my hair with the Curl Talk Curl Care Shampoo. This is my holy grail. I apologize that I just had to sing for you, but that is what my spirit was feeling. I adore this shampoo, okay? If I want volume in my hair, this is the shampoo I use. So I use this shampoo almost every time I wash my hair. I personally can have a hard time getting volume from sulfate-free shampoos, and this one just does the trick, honey. Next. It's mask time. Now after I get my hair processed and highlighted, it is imperative that I deep condition. Look at the thickness of that mask. It, it's, it's beautiful. I like this mask for so many reasons. One of the biggest ones is that it does deeply condition. It deeply penetrates the hair shaft. It really adds a great deal of moisture that I absolutely notice. But a lot of masks, while they are deeply hydrating, they will then just leave me with very flat hair because they're so heavy. So this doesn't weigh your hair down, which is especially important for my wavy hair. If you're a wavy hair girl, you know what I'm talking about. And this just, it does the trick, baby boo. And I left this mask in my hair for about 10 minutes and then I rinsed everything out and now we're jumping in with the conditioner. Now this is definitely a lighter conditioner. This is, you know, this can be used as a leave-in, a rinse out, a co-wash. It's kind of like a three-in-one, which I do enjoy. Um, I will not rinse this out fully. So the reason I rinsed out the mask and then also used conditioner is because I'm going to use this as a bit of a leave-in. So when I go to rinse out this conditioner, and yes, I am scrunching it in, little, little squish to condition movement here. When I rinse out the conditioner, I'm just gonna have it be rinsing out where it kind of just leaves like a little bit of a milky color. So I still want a little bit of conditioner in there, but not so much. And then I'm gonna pop my hair up in a turban, and let's go apply these stylers. Now that we've jumped out of the shower, we are going to jump in with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream. I absolutely love the styler for so many reasons. I've been a big, big fan ever since the Curl Talk line came out. Um, it is the perfect, and I mean perfect, combination of getting great moisture without compromising on the volume. You'll see what I'm talking about when I show you the results. But with this product, I really just like to scrunch it in very simply. That's my favorite way to apply stylers. Um, it kind of creates like that effortless, beachy, wavy look as opposed to like perfect definition, which is what I personally prefer. And I'm actually gonna take just a little bit more, you know, get a little crazy. I'm gonna put a little bit into the roots for some nice hold there and then scrunch some more into the back of the head. I personally like cream stylers the best. Now the Not Your Mother's Curl Tuck line does have a mousse, which Bianca Renee today swears by. But for me, creams are where it's at. So now we are gonna jump in 
with our gel. This is the only gel, I repeat, the only gel that I will use. So if that isn't a rave review, I don't know what is. <laughs> Now on the front of the bottle, it does say that it is a flexible firm hold. In my opinion, it is a flexible medium hold. Um, I definitely wouldn't consider this a firm hold, which I personally prefer. I don't ever like to get crunchy, crunchy results. It's just not my thing. Um, when applying the gel, I like to do a little, a little sliding motion, a little praying hands movement. Just kind of softly placing it over to not disturb anything. <laughs> and something that I really, really like about this gel is that it is flake free completely on me personally. I have used a gel recently, I was trying new products, and honey, your girl was flaky. This is just the only gel that works for me, gives me the results that I want at an affordable price that's also Girly Girl Method approved. What more can you ask for? Now as you can see, we've got some nice wave definition going on. I'm just going to scrunch a little bit of our excess moisture out so that we can diffuse a little bit easier. Now, let's diffuse. We are trying to dry our hair quickly and get into bed. I feel you, girl. I do find that different blow dryers will dry your hair at different speeds depending on the blow dryer, so kind of experiment to find what works for you. This one works fast for me. Let's do it. We are back in action, my hair is dry and ready to go to bed. I'm so tired, okay. <laughs> so, I do just wanna show you briefly what we're working with right off the bat. Um, I will try to touch it gingerly, but we've actually got some really, really nice definition. There is a slight cast to my hair, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want, that light hold cast that I will break in the morning. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I feel like my hair and wavy hair in general can be very inconsistent, whereas like there isn't really any wonky pieces. Every single piece looks good. <laughs> Can I brag? Can I can I compliment myself? <laughs> now that our hair is dry and it is time to go to sleep, I'm gonna show you three different methods for uh, protecting your hair while you sleep. The first method, you want to put your hair all up on top of your head and you want it to just be very, very loose. Now this is what I personally do every single night of my life. <laughs> And you simply just want to wrap around once, twice at the most, depending on how thick your hair is, with a scrunchie. Now this is just a regular old scrunchie, but really a silk scrunchie will be the best you know. And then of course, going the extra mile is sleeping on a silk pillowcase. This is my silk pillowcase. I sleep on it every night of my life and I love it. I have to say that I used to think like, oh, silk pillowcase, what a rip off, you know? But like, honestly, it really does make a difference compared to like a cotton or jersey pillowcase. This is significantly, significantly better on your results the next day for like second and third day hair. I swear by it, but I will show you a hack for a cheaper alternative. If you have just a regular old pillowcase, take anything satin, like a satin scarf, satin PJ shirt, whatever, and just put it over your pillowcase to sleep with at night. You don't have to buy anything new, you know? Just find something you got in your house, and you've got a DIY satin pillowcase. Next, we have a silk or satin lined bonnet. Now, I actually used to wear bonnets a lot more than I do now, simply because they usually fall off my head in the morning. I do love them though. I just need to find one that I can secure, like, I guess, tighter, because I sleep like a maniac and they fall off. But if you sleep like a calm individual, a bonnet will be for you for protective sleeping. Last but certainly not least, similarly to our DIY satin pillowcase, if you take a satin or silk scarf and you wanna either tie it up around your pineapple or if you don't want a pineapple at all, maybe you get like a little bit of indentation from that, you can simply wrap your hair in a scarf at night and sleep with it and you will have beautiful untouched waves and curls the next day. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my makeup off. I am so ready, that is my favorite part of the day. My favorite part of the day, 
after taking my bra off, if I put one on to begin with, is washing off my makeup. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep like this, and then I will see you guys in the morning to style and refresh this nighttime do. Good night, guys. <laughs> Good morning, babes. It is the next day. Yes, I slept in this last night. <laughs> I just did my makeup. My pineapple's a little slumped, but uh, we're gonna see what we're working with here today. The very first thing we're gonna do to plump up our hair for the day is use the Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy. So you, the key to this product is to really shake it up. <laughs> shake it up! And you really wanna focus it on the roots. It smells heavenly and you're gonna get awesome, awesome volume. <laughs> Plump for Joy. You will be joyful. Especially if you struggle with like wanting thicker hair. I feel like a lot of people think that I have crazy thick hair, but I actually really don't. It's kind of just an illusion with my styling products and my haircuts and all that jazz. Next, you're just gonna want to fluff out those roots, baby. Fluff it out. Once your roots are fluffed up, you're gonna want to scrunch out the cast from the day before in your hair and they're gonna be good to go. My hair is done and ready to go, and the best part is this took me literally five minutes in the morning to refresh, and it honestly wasn't that hard last night because I just blow dried my hair for like 25 minutes. So this to me is the lazy girl who wants to make it look like it took her an hour to get ready. You're welcome. To conclude, I positively love the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line. It is probably my favorite line of products ever. I mean, because there isn't a single product I don't like. There are some I like more than others, but honestly, they're all great. Um, if I had to pick two, my two standouts are, of course, the shampoo. I use this shampoo anytime I want volume in my hair. I use this shampoo. So pretty much every time I wash my hair, I use this shampoo. And of course, you guys know this is literally the only gel I use, so it would be a shame not to mention it to you guys. It is just... So lovely, so lovely. Let me know in the comments down below any time-saving hacks that you have for your waves, curls, or coils. And basic thank yous again to Not Your Mother's for sponsoring today's video. I positively love working with them. I did a giveaway recently on my Instagram. Follow me there if you're not already. I think we had nearly or just over 3,000 giveaway entries <laughs> um, for the entire Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line. We had five winners. It was so fun and awesome, so I would definitely be doing more giveaways if you want that. That. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.